Renaissance of Rye Why Semi Dwarfs Matter for Future Agriculture. European farmers are among the world's leading producers and exporters of high quality agricultural produce. This success is based on their unique know how. Europe's diverse climate and its fertile soils. European farmers, however, bear a great responsibility as they contribute substantially to our food security today and in the future. While doing so, they have to preserve scarce natural resources as much as possible, limited cultivation areas. Increasing weather extremes such as droughts or heavy rainfall, as well as new societal attitudes and expectations, render this task even more difficult. A solution to many of these challenges is found in a truly European crop rye. Thanks to its highly developed root system, rye demands the least water and fertilizer of any grain. Modern hybrid varieties are particularly high performing, even though they have a relatively long culm compared to wheat. In addition to its high yield potential, rye requires minimal chemical crop protection due to its outstanding plant health. Transportation routes are short as it is produced regionally, meaning low greenhouse gas emissions making rye an environmentally friendly product. Furthermore, rye is a high quality feed and promotes animal welfare. But knowledge of this healthy minor cereal is dwindling. In contrast, the parasitic rye ergot fungus is well known. High doses of ergot are toxic for humans and other mammals. Indeed, ergot is still a challenge in rye cultivation to date. This must change now. To this end, 11 partners from seven countries collaborate in the project Rhysis and are developing a completely new type of this cereal, semi-dwarf rye. Semi-dwarf rye heralds a new era in ergot defense. Here's how it works. Just like wheat and barley, hybrid rye is able to set seed upon self-fertilization. In semi-dwarf rye, almost every plant has this capability. In contrast to current varieties, the pollen of semi-dwarf rye is not threatened by unfavorable environmental conditions at flowering. This innovation is beneficial as the ergot fungus has no chance of parasitizing rye once fertilization is completed. But semi-dwarf rye has even more benefits. Named for its naturally regulated plant height, semi-dwarf rye optimizes the conversion of water, nutrients, and light to make the cereal's grain. This results in a high grain yield. Semi-dwarf rye offers a solution for current and future challenges in agriculture from an ecological perspective as well. The natural comb reduction dispenses with the need for chemical growth regulators and reduces the use of fossil fuels at harvest. To conclude, semi-dwarf rye meets current and future demands for a modern and high-performance small grain cereal. A strong argument for the renaissance of rye on European fields.